Okay, so today I'm going to be installing this eco-worthy battery monitor in my do-it-yourself 100 amp hour solar generator build that I did about a week ago or so. And the MPP solar inverter slash charger that I'm using is awesome. It's been working great, but it, I think it measures the remaining capacity of the battery using the voltage, which as you guys probably know, with lithium iron phosphate, um, that's not a very accurate way to measure the remaining capacity for the battery. So I wanted to get this and um, so that I can get a lot more data on the, the battery. For instance, this monitor will give you not only a more accurate measurement of the remaining battery capacity, but it will also give you the charging or discharging amperage. It will give you the runtime as well, which is also the remaining runtime. So whatever load you're running on this, this should, after I get it installed, this should tell me how many hours, minutes are left on the battery, which is really awesome. And the MPP Solar All-in-One does not have that capability. So I think, honestly, just for that feature alone, this will be worth it. But it's going to give me a lot more accurate insight and visibility on uh, you know, the battery, the state of charge and, and whatnot, and what's going on with it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started installing this. This, this does not require a shunt, um, which is why I chose this particular model. So it uses this, what they call a hall sensor. And all I have to do, instead of installing a shunt on one of the battery terminals in line, in series with one of the battery terminals, which would be kind of a pain, because uh, you'd have to s splice the cables and all that good stuff. This, you do not have to do that. All I have to do is mount this somewhere and run the positive battery terminal through this. And that's that's how you'll get uh, your amperage and whatnot on here. So this should be a lot more simple approach than installing an actual shunt. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'll be right back. Okay, so if you're curious, uh, sorry about the glare. If you're curious, this is the wiring diagram. So it's really straightforward. It should not be a huge issue at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cabling this up and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my battery terminals removed and I think I've got, I think I figured out where the hall sensor, where I'm gonna put the hall sensor. I'm just gonna mount it to the top of the battery with some VHB tape that way, in case I ever wanna remove it later or uh, move it somewhere else, um, it won't be too big of a deal to pry off of there. Uh, but I did wanna show you that, um, so this, here's the positive and negative terminal and this wiring harness, these will obviously go to the respective terminals on the battery. And then this end will go to the monitor itself. They give you quite a bit of cable, as you can see. So I'll probably wrap that up and kind of tuck it away inside the uh, container. And then you've got this cable that connects to the monitor for the hall sensor. And so I'm gonna run the positive terminal for the battery through the hall sensor and just a note you do have to have the direction of the hall sensor correct otherwise uh, what i mean is you have to have it pointing in a certain direction and as far as i can tell by the documentation the the um, wiring harness needs to point away from the or it needs to be in, in line going away from the battery. So towards the load or toward, towards your inverter in my case, if that makes sense. I'm probably not explaining that very good, but I'll kind of show you once I get it all set up. But it, um, you'll know that you've got it in the going the wrong direction, facing the wrong direction if you get negative numbers when you're charging, negative amperage 
numbers when you're charging and positive when you're discharging. It should read negative amperage when you're discharging and positive when you're charging. So, and it actually says that in the documentation. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys mounted to the battery terminal and I'm going to use the VHB tape to stick this down and I'll show you when I've got that done. Be right back. Okay, I've got it all wired up. I've got the positive negative terminal to the battery monitor connected and the hall sensor as well. Hopefully I did, did that in the right orientation. Um, you can see that it is reading some data on the battery. Now I still have to go in and, and program this. There's I think two settings that you have to set. Uh, one of them is the the amp hour capacity of the battery and the other one is the maximum voltage I believe if I read the manual correctly. I'll I'll uh, give an update in a, uh, after when, when I uh, get this actually programmed and let you know if that was correct. Um, but yeah, so this is wired up. I just need to drill. I'm going to get a uh, set drill drill bit and just drill a hole through the lid of the container and then mount this on top. And that should be, and after I get a program, that should be good to go. Let me get that done. I'll be right back. I love these bits for drilling into plastic. They are amazing. I think it's called a step, a step bit. I may have called it a set bit earlier on accident. If I did, I apologize. They're step bits. Uh, and for drilling into plastic things like this, they're amazing. Okay, so programming was pretty easy. Um, I'll show you the two settings that you have to change. You just hold down this button for a few seconds, then you go into programming mode. And the two settings are right next to one another. So it's 11CA and 12FV. And all you have to do is put in the amp hours, which is 100 for this battery, and then the full charge, uh, the full charge voltage which is 13.5 for this battery. Unfortunately, it doesn't stay in that menu very long, so let me go back there real quick. Okay, so there's your two settings. Uh, you just use the arrow, you hold down the button, and then you can modify the settings with the up and down arrows for, for both settings. So you just need to look in your manual and uh, to get the, the information for the amp hour or it's, the amp hour is pretty easy it's usually printed on the side of the battery or two so and then the uh, maximum charge voltage which is 13.5 for this one and there you go so i've programmed it but you have to charge the battery up fully before it actually shows uh the accurate data and it says that in the manual as well but there it is it's installed i'll go ahead and charge this all the way up and then i'll I'll uh, show you guys uh, everything working as expected. But yeah, pretty cool. Didn't take too long and uh, gives me a lot more accurate, should be giving me a lot more accurate data than just what the inverter does. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm in my office with the solar generator. I'm connected to solar charging at about 84 watts. I've got the battery monitor mounted and it's calibrating. The manual says that once you get it connected to the battery and the inverter and everything, uh, you have to charge the battery up 100% before it'll give you accurate readings. So I'm just letting, I'm actually just letting it do that now. Um, 
there were a few things while it's doing that, and it looks like it's going to take a while. There was a couple of things I, I forgot to mention about this that it does, and um, it does a, a it, there's a bunch of alarms that you can set um, for like under voltage, uh, over voltage, high temperature, overcurrent, and it will actually if you configure them, it'll do audible beeps and audible alerts. Um, if you hit any of those thresholds, so this is this is a pretty useful device to have, and and this does some of that too. Um, but I think this just goes above and beyond. It's it's a really nice add-on uh, for any kind of do-it-yourself solar generator uh, build. There's just so much good stuff that you you can see the um, information on right away all in just one with one screen whereas on this you kind of have to flick through the settings um, you know you have to flip through to see the voltage to see what you're charging at things like that the amps things like that um, whereas this all you have to do is look at it and you can see everything you can see I'm ch uh, charging at 6.4 amps, 85, 80, about 84 watts. Um, once this gets calibrated, this is going to be very useful. Okay, so I'll um, I'll come back when it's all calibrated and show you guys that. All right, battery monitor is all calibrated. You can see it's at 100% capacity at 100 amp hours. It's registering 13.4 volts. I'm charging, I've got some a little bit of solar left. It's in the late afternoon here. So what I did want to demonstrate is um, I'll put a, a load on here and show you that it will calculate the estimated runtime, which I which is to me one of the coolest features of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick a load on. Okay, so I've got solar disconnected now. I was actually charging faster than I was discharging, even though I didn't have a ton of sun left. Uh, um, so you can see that I'm discharging as it's showing a negative number there for the amperage. Um, I'm discharging at about a little over four amps, um, about 55, 56 watts. And it's estimating the runtime to be about 24 hours, 21 minutes. So now I don't have to guess how much time I've got left on my battery. With just one glance of this thing, I can tell. So I think that a, makes a really strong argument for installing one of these on your uh, solar generator build. It's just really nice to have all of that at a glance. I don't have to dig through the menu on my inverter, nothing. Uh, just glance at this and I'll know exactly where I'm at. Very, very helpful for running, uh, you know, for running this all day long, being able to tell exactly how much time you've got left and where you're at. So anyway, this was a lot of fun and I'm really happy that, uh, that I got it installed and it's working. So if you're considering putting one of these on your solar generator, I definitely would say do it. I got this off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description and uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Good luck. Take care.